So just gently draw your toes in, sink your hips and lengthen through the spine. Just have your feet shoulder width apart. Right, can you all hear me? Am I audible? Get the thumbs up. Brilliant. Great. And uh, for those of you that have, that have snuck in, well done and uh, Happy New Year, everybody. I reckon it can only improve eventually, so we'll just have to, you know, bear with it <laughs> for the first few months and then I think it will be all right. So there we go. So we're sinking down, we're feeling the ground under our feet. So you just want to spend some time with the feet. Um, Right before the Christmas break, I, I went to see Corella and Eva Kaskuba and they're talking a lot about being aware, being aware of what's going on when you're moving. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. So we're, we're not doing um, the 18 set yet. I'm waiting for just working, working on some fundamentals. Um, I'm still studying Professor Lin Hao Sheng's videos and I will get back with that. Just gently draw the toes in, sink your hips, lengthen through the spine, relax the shoulders, relax the elbows and wrists and hands. So get your arms very relaxed and then focus on sinking the hips and sinking the shoulders and that should strengthen the sensation of contact uh, between your feet and the ground. So gently draw the toes in, lengthen through the crown of the head so you're floating up through that back way point or the um, on the governor vessel meridian up through the crown of the head feeling this lovely long stretch along the spine Relax around the feet as well. So you're, you're relaxing the feet, feeling the ground under your feet, and then gently drawing in the toes as if you're holding uh, sand. And then just allow yourself to rock gently forwards and gently back so you're going to what I'm doing when I'm doing this exercise and it's one of the ones I've done from the Kaskubas I'm aiming my weight to settle in between where the, um, the this is now a foot the toes start and the ball of the foot ends and the middle of my heel or possibly the end of the heel So you want to sink down. So if I just show you that from the side, I've got, I'm softly gazing forward with my focus gaze. I'm lengthening and I'm just gently rocking forwards and back. Great. And I've got a, I've got a day seminar on Zoom, seeing my teachers again on Saturday, and I've also got a meditation retreat on Sunday. So if I find anything useful that I can pass on in the next class after I've attended, I will of course do that. But at the moment, so when you're rocking forwards and back, you've got, it's almost like your head is floating up and you wanna, you wanna sink the hips, sink the shoulders, and feel that you've got lots of space. You want lots of space in the body, you want lots of room. And you're, you're tuning into this very quiet, calm place. Okay, now let your weight settle just behind the ball of each foot. And we're just gonna transfer our weight. 
from one to another. So we're going maybe 70, 30, possibly even 80, 20 if you fancy. And think tall thoughts. And breathe. So you want to keep the part of the foot that the weight's settling through consistent. And also really pay attention to your vertical alignment. Relax the arms, relax the hands. Great, and then back to your Wu Chi, and then we'll just gently swing round. So you want to sink the hips, and also your knees are in line with the toes. Relax around the ankles. Okay, go in the other direction. But think tall, really own your space, you know. Especially because we're all, well actually I've, I've kind of been in lockdown since March last year so it's not that different for me but owning a space and feeling comfortable in it, quite important at the moment so we're going to work on that. Okay, sink down, figure eight. So when, when you're doing your figure eight, you can practice softly moving your gaze from one corner to the other and lining your torso up with the corners. And while you're doing that, noticing what's happening in the sensation of contact through the feet. Okay, and if you can work it out, now change the direction of the figure eight. Don't, don't worry if it's not quite, you know. So, uh, oh, what have I, oh yes, Healthy You Festival. I have been asked by the people running the Healthy You Festival to mention Healthy You Festival. Uh, it's up on my Facebook and also those of you that got the email. There's online sport all weekend. So you can do stuff online um, and there's all sorts of different activities. They've even got a couple of live classes and it's completely free. And uh, I'm teaching two Tai Chi sessions. I've got a seated Tai Chi fitness and I've got a standing up health class, just half hour. And uh, it should be a very good weekend. 
Keep breathing. Okay, and sink down. Lengthen up through the spine. And just take your time to feel your feet and check that your posture is correct. Create some space in your shoulders and your elbows and wrists and just feel very tall and imagine like your posture is so correct that if a sort of a whole load of people were to run past they'd just bounce off you you know you just oh. okay and then we'll just do this so yeah I was noticing how chilly it was this morning when I was out there practicing oh my goodness I had to go and get my hat <laughs> so, yeah make sure if you are practicing outside I might I might resurrect my outdoor classes for zoom um, if, if I can get my lapel mic working and but do dress accordingly if you are outside So when, when you're doing these more familiar movements, take that opportunity to pay attention. So you're paying attention to what you are doing. You are paying attention to what you are sensing. And it's coming from a very calm, and quiet place so whatever's going on you can just go no you're just sitting in your calm spot um had a lovely time i was at uh, trumpington i was i was by the river near byron's pool uh over the christmas break and it was, <laughs> it was really cold and wet but it was really lovely and um It's a bit like you're on the riverbank watching, observing what's happening. So really floppy fire your arms more. And then we're going to raise the arms up, lovely. So as well as the relaxation and, and calming and centering actually, centering's the correct word, we're not really, relaxing's only one component of what's actually going on in Tai Chi, it's, it's, it's a lot deeper than that. Okay, shake out. Check your posture, tune into your springs. So um, if, you, if you listen to the bird song, you'll notice that the birds are warming up they're, they're singing the um, the songs they're singing are more like what you get in the spring now I've noticed uh, when I'm out there and so we're getting in touch with our spring our springs <laughs> there we go so you want to relax the shoulders just show you that from the sideways view so sideways view so I'm looking forward I'm listening behind and I'm keeping my shoulders sunk and relaxed, as are my hips. Very good. That's much better, everybody. Yeah, I never want to look at another mince pie in the face, at least not until October. So uh, I can really, you know, oof. So just just relax and sink your hips and you're you're centering so you're really tuning into being in your root so it's not quite the same as being relaxed because there's a sort of active component to it and a observational component Very good, right, we'll change it to the one where you raise your arms up.
and change. So, um, yeah, just again to point out the YouTube channel, I've done a whole tutorial on the loosening exercises. So, it's about 50 minutes long of loosening and uh, some of the applications for loosening and um, it's well worth you know as we're in lockdown you might have more time to look at the Tai Chi videos possibly and uh, <laughs> I haven't I've been writing an essay and uh But if you're not writing essays, you can look at Tai Chi videos and um, they're all up there on the Grey Heron Internal Arts YouTube channel. I'm hoping to have a 24 step video of me just doing 24 step lots and lots and lots of times. Um, one of my housemates said they'd be happy to film it because I got a better... Uh, the problem with my laptop top is it's not good as good quality video so I'm trying to sort that out <laughs> but yeah if you're interested in getting better because loosening exercise is very useful for a lot of Tai Chi principles and um, the music's very nice in the video <laughs> so check it out Keep breathing. <laughs> okay, and change. Oh. This is really good actually if you're queuing outside the post office and you know it's pouring with rain and you're all wearing masks it's great really good <laughs> time flies been uh... Yeah, just put your parcel on the floor and do this. Do your loosening. It's great. Right, relax your hands a bit more as well. That's very good. Well, considering we've had a couple of weeks off, you're all looking very smooth. Okay. Check your posture again. Make sure you're just so... And then with the, think more about the backswing when you're. everyone stand nice and tall so it's like it's like you own the place but in a in a kind of non-imposing way you know so you got you got your confidence and if you if you stand well and you stand correctly as well as it being better for your postural muscles because they're you're, you're you're correctly standing you also feel more confident and you look more confident too so um one thing i noticed when i was working on my posture having i went to see the kaskubas and says right what do i need to work on to get better at this tai chi business um, people kept sort of when I was around Cambridge and even London um, 
I get asked directions. And I am the last person I'd want to ask directions for. I've got dyslexia and I can't tell me right from me left. So, um, yeah. But, because I... <laughs> I'm like, brilliant, so... So I'd usually go in the shop with them and ask the shopkeeper. That seemed to do the trick, but... <laughs> brilliant. But yeah, it makes you feel better. So if you're feeling a bit, and we'll do this one, if you're feeling a bit under the weather, instead of kind of collapsing your posture and moping about, you can mope about, but mope about in a really good posture and you'll feel better. It just works a treat. <laughs> really good. You know, obviously don't ignore what you are feeling, because that's just communication from the body. But at least, you know, look good <laughs> when it's all falling apart. Brilliant. <laughs> There we go. Fabulous. Right, we'll just do that. We'll shake out a bit and then we'll go into, I'll show that from the side view, bow and arrow stance. Gong boo. So we're just sinking back, sinking forward. Oh, my feet are out of shot. I'll move the thing down so you can see my feet a bit better. So I turn my foot out, I place my other foot forward, heel toe, both knees bent, lengthen, tiger eyes, sleepy tiger eyes. I've, I've lost that card, I, I did put it somewhere safe with a, with a picture of the tiger on, but you can see that in the videos and you, you're softly gazing forwards, you're listening behind and above. And when you're going forward and back, it's it's a horizontal transfer of the weight and you're holding with your feet. Like, um, there's this, there's this amazing cat that lives at number, number two and um, moves beautifully, really, really good. I keep finding, finding her in my house. Uh, <laughs> so, but really, really good posture, really good movement. There was a... Even managed to, when it was a very small kitten, it got itself trapped into the kitchen of a, the retired person that lives, lives underneath and... managed to, a tiny little thing, managed to totally, um, yeah, very impressive, very good martial artist as well. So, and it's got very good sleepy tiger eyes. So we're gonna, yeah. Okay, now sink back, turn to the corner, sink forward, turn to the corner. Okay, now have a little shake out and we'll do that little lot on the other side so we're not wonky. So, turn the foot out. So this is somewhere between 30 and 45 degrees depending on how your leg got put on. So you might want to adjust the angle of the back foot. So everyone's back foot angle will be slightly different but the front foot angle will definitely be toes and knee pointing towards the front. But the back foot just depends on how you got grown. So, but you want to be aligned with yourself. And you're aiming your weight to go through the middle of each foot. Now we turn, 
Gut. through the spine. Right, one more each leg and we'll just shake out. Right, let's, let's just make sure our shoulders are happy. So place your hands on your chest, get your posture. So whatever you're doing, before we do anything, check your posture first. That's, that's uh, your New Year's resolution. And we're going to go eight. One, two, three, and you've got your, your spinal thing. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Let's shake out. Dragon serves teacups. So remember dragons are very fierce so get into your fierce thoughts and then remember we've got little finger at the front, thumbs at the back if that helps and before and, and we turn towards the the arm that's moving. So we'll do 10. Ready and go. One. Two. Dragon serves teacup. So don't spill the tea. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then wrists and hands one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rolling forwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rolling backwards. One, two, three. Very good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Over and under. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, and shake out. Right. Oh, hands on the hips, we'll do five. One, two, three, four, five. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll just have a look at a few basics today. Um, I may need to flip the, the laptop lid um, back again, but we'll, we'll just start with the the basic version of rooting down that I've learnt from Mike to Brett and also Ronnie Robinson. This is how Ronnie Robinson used to do his rooting down. So we we'll start with the last movement. We're just going to do a few little some bits of qigong and also a relatively new exercise that I did yesterday uh, with Mike. And I thought, well, that's a nice little introduction to the new year. Let's do that. We're feeling comfortable. So if you don't feel comfortable, feel comfortable with not being comfortable. There you go, then, then that's just as good. Or feeling comfortable with however you are feeling, I think. It's something like that anyway. I mean, hopefully the meditation workshop will help. 
There you go. So just think about your elbows. So you really want to relax the elbows. And the elbows go apart and then they come together. And you're using your whole body. Your whole body is engaged. And we're all breathing. Fabulous. Okay, now this time, wild goose fly. So, yeah, this time of year you get all the geese starting to. And it's veganuary, so it's even safer for geese now. <laughs> so, there we go. Right, now. Feel the size of the body. Imagine you've got an elastic band and it's attached to your fingers and it's going down the side of the body to underneath the feet. So there's a stretch and then imagine the elastic band pulling, pulling down, pulls your arms down. And also you want the fingers, we'll do one more and I'll, I'll talk about the quality in the hands. So you want your fingers, I'll come a bit closer. You want your fingers very expressive and as, as they come down, almost like they're getting bigger and you want the expansion to be in the palm of the hand as well. So it's like expanding. So, so it's, oof, so it's like quite big. It's, um, it's a bit like uh, if you see, um, when, when I was watching uh, Richard Richard Spool do his Amnit, and he he was playing all the parts, it was a bit it was a bit yeah it was I was fine until until he was Ophelia actually it was just you know but anyway <laughs> but his hands very expressive hands so let's get back doing the goose but with a little bit more um, intention. To the ends of the fingers and see if that makes a difference it doesn't want to be rigid it wants to be firm but soft in the hands and expressive let's let's have a look keep going so that's better if i was holding up the scorecards on strictly that would be an eight so that's good strictly tai chi there we go, and we're, we're nice and tall, so, and we're breathing, and feeling that we're connected, so you want to feel the connections all the way through the body. Beautiful, right, let's part the clouds, so we'll, we'll do it the this version oh hang on my arms are losing keep going you know what you're doing I'll, I'll move the lid right let's get a little bit more oh that's better my hands have come back now so you want to keep that rounded shape rounded shape in the arms and also I'll show you that from the back think about what your back's doing have a have a look Show from the side. So you're, the movement's embodied and connected. That's it. Very nice. Go back a little for the. Okay, we've not done this one for a while, but let's give it a go. Dragon plucks the stars from the sky. So you, you straighten, the elbow floats up. You pluck your star, I'm just about in shot there, and pull it down, and then let the arm go first, then you move the other arm. 
and we're doing our sleepy tiger eyes and it's like in the morning if you're having a really slow stretch and then you release so pull down lovely so we will get back um, probably next week we'll get back to doing the 18 set but I just wanted to ease people in <laughs> the, the new year we're not unless you find uh, the Tai Chi fitness class will be a little more vigorous tomorrow those of you that come to it because it's quite good Keep breathing, fabulous. Okay, one more time each side. Let's have a little shake out. And we'll just go back to that first loosening exercise just to get our waists happy and comfortable. So think about the waist, this area here, being very free and mobile and also you've got your springs in your body. And we're just feeling like we've got loads of space, loads of room. We're breathing, we're relaxed. And yeah, you're just taking it easy. We're taking it easy today. So it's quite tempting to especially with all the doom and gloom in the news, you just wanna, you know. It's going to be happening anyway, so you might as well just take it easy. Notice your breath, so notice the breath as it moves in. Notice the breath as it moves out. Okay, now let's do the inside turn. So you're, you're moving towards the weighted leg. Now feel the springs in the body. And now what you're going to do is just very gently raise the heel, raise the heel. So it's a little variation I kind of cooked up over the uh, holiday because I, I was looking at um, I was looking at bouncing the ball while marching, um, and just sort of looking at that timing between the heel lift and the movement of the waist and the movement of the weight and then you want to you want to look forward so you've got a tall so it's not just a sleepy tiger it's a very tall sleepy tiger okay right now with that introduction just to uh, show you bouncing a ball up in front of the shoulder so that's a lot slower but you've got the weight shift Oh, actually what I'll do is I'll do it from the back view. It goes up and down. Now when, Mas when, when um, Professor Lin Hao Sheng does this, he has this lovely little kind of flourish at the end and lifts up and then comes down. And I really like that. That's marvellous. So. So a nice, easy feeling in the shoulders, nice and tall through the spine. Use your legs, everything's connected, it's engaged. Nice everybody, really good. Relax the shoulders, sink the shoulders, sink the hips. Use your legs. One more time each side. And then we're going to do the Ronnie Robertson version of Cow Gazes at the Moon. 
So there was an amazing moon over the over the Christmas break. I don't know if you saw it. It's beautiful. It's just lovely and. Yeah, I missed that planets thing because all the planets lined up, but it was so grey and miserable out there, I didn't see none of it. So, <laughs> there you go. What is it with infrequently occurring astral phenomena and rubbish weather in, in the UK? There you go. But anyway, cow gazes at the moon. Beautiful. So you get this rounded feeling in the, the arm. This isn't how Professor do, the Professor does it. He does it slightly different, but this is how Ronnie did it. One more each side. <clears throat> and then come back. Right, we better have a short water break. Uh, water break. And then we'll move on to the ones that Mike was doing. So it was this little sequence, um, and I just quite liked it. So I don't, I don't know how much time we'll get, um, but we'll 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 just have, just check them out because the, the other good thing it's quite easy to remember as well, which I really liked. So yeah, eventually the music you can hear, which is um, me and various musicians playing healing music, that's going to get turned into a CD of some sort. Um, it's just, things have got a bit delayed because of the whole Covid business, but it's, and I need to edit and things. And so we're going to go into bow and arrow stance, and then we're just, we're just going to do this one. So you imagine you're, you've got a small column, I'll show you that from the diagonal, and you're, and you're, you're feeling the, the shoulder joint work. So remember the shoulder's a ball and socket joint. And we're just like this. So as far as I can tell, Mike, Mike Tabret invented this movement. I've never seen anyone else do this movement. So when you, when you go round like that and you're feeling the chest open when, when you're going round the back of the imaginary ball and when you go round the front of the imaginary ball the chest folds and the back, the back opens. And then eventually you can do it smaller as well. You can you can do a much smaller version. Right, let's try that on the other side. So take your time to get your posture correct first. So you sink back and forward. So we, yeah, last night we spent about an hour and a half doing maybe four or five moves. It was great. So. So again, if you look from the if you if you look at what I'm doing from the side, I'm doing my sleepy tiger eyes and I've got my posture. So you're you're lengthening and you're straightening through your body. Great. Now the next move we're gonna do is fisherman cast the net. Now the important thing with fisherman cast the net the mic version is you want to keep your arms low and they're, they're just swinging. It's very similar to when we do this movement. So you want to avoid lifting the arms, keep them low. Imagine you've got a table and you're just feeling the table or something like that. So you want to keep them low and, and avoid in the olden days when I used to do this, we'd, they'd lift up, but we're, we're working, especially this year, on keeping the arms low. And there's a delay between the body movement and the arm movement. So the body moves, then the arms move. The body moves, and then the arms move. 
So we're, we're feeling the, the stretch, the springiness in the arms. So, you, and you actually do, unusually, most of the time we don't have our arms behind. That's not very sensible martially, but for this uh, exercise, we're doing it and it's okay. And again, you're aiming for the middle, your balance point of each foot and your feet are springs and we've got good posture and we're breathing. Fab. Okay, let's do the other leg so it doesn't feel left out. Breathing. And we're relaxed. Fabulous. Yeah, that's good. Okay, be a little bit taller in your posture. And, and the gaze, it's soft, but penetrating, this gaze. It's this... <laughs> bit, like, bit like Mitt Romney last night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was impressed. That was Sleepy Tiger Eyes. Check the picture out. And then we're just relaxing the arms. That's it. Yeah, I've got a load of re relatives and uh, that live in America, so I've <laughs> I've been hearing quite a bit. <laughs> Fabulous. Very good. Okay. Now, the double-handed push. Um, Again, it's different. To, uh, this is a different version. What you're doing, it's more like what they do in each one. So you, the elbows come apart and then they come forward and there's this. It's almost like a, yeah. Just try that. So don't forget your sleepy tiger eyes. That's it. So you want, actually I will show that from the side. So my arms and my weight are moving at the same speed, pretty much. So, there was one time where um, I was at a Tai Chi uh, five day retreat and um, one of the teachers, their car wouldn't start and so maybe three there's three there are three or four volunteers and we all got behind the car and were pushing it <laughs> and we all looked at each other oh you've been practicing you know it was really good so how to push a car you kind of go like that and then off you go but you want to you want to get and move it you can't just move the car with your arms you have to really get move your whole body Okay, let's do the other leg so we're not left out. So you want to start with your Wu Chi. So getting into posture and getting into correct posture is probably, yeah, I'd, I'd say just as important as when you're doing the movement. You want to be in the correct position. That's it. Okay, relax around your chest a bit more, everybody. And it's almost like your shoulders, your chest and your hips are kind of melting a bit. Or that the muscles are, are really softening downwards. So the muscles sink and the bones float. To put it very crudely, if that helps. So there's this upward feeling in the bones. I'll show you that. Confident and comfortable, you know. That is lovely. Very good, everyone. You all look fab. Okay, right, shake out. <laughs> oh, right, next. Make a fist with both hands. We're going to punch forward. So, I was really happy he did this one. Because actually it makes you feel quite good. So this is a version of punching with focus gaze. So you really want to do your sleepy tiger eyes for this. Think, grrr. That's it. I really like Professor Lin Hao Sheng's version. He does this lovely little twirly thing at the end, at each end. So we'll, we'll be doing that next week. But this is this is quite good too. 
Okay, and then practice changing your posture again. So you always start from here. Think really tall thoughts and then heel toe. And then we're just, rah. It's great. I really like it. Just keep your breathing natural. So you want your breathing natural, you want your movements natural. Nice and easy. And we're transferring the weight, pulling back. Great stuff. Okay, that was so good, we'll do one more. Very good, once more we're feeling fabulous. Have a little shake out. So now what you do is you do one of each. Now this is where my memory gets tested. Um, if this was my teacher training course, you <laughs> oh dear. So, well, one, two, three, four. I think that's it. Have I left any out? Oh well, never mind. So you, you do that. Um, this is fresh from last night. So this is brand new stuff. <laughs> so any mistakes of mine? Ah, cool, it really tests your brain, doesn't it, this? Oh my goodness. It's a good job we're relaxing and feeling comfortable, isn't it? Cast in the net. Double handed push and punch with focus gaze. And then one more round. your posture and then we'll do that little lot on the other side make sure my feet are in view and just check your posture make sure you, you feel correct and then we do we do the same The other foot forward and there is no hurry and don't don't worry if you're having to busk it a bit that's fine this is this is brand new Especially Phil, you should be good at busking. <laughs> Apparently we can still busk. I, I asked the musicians union. So I'll show you that from the side. So we come round, round. Fisherman cast the net. So if you find yourself feeling a little confused by this move, just relax. It's okay, you know. Feel comfortable feeling confused. Very good. There you go, oh, I'm confused. How interesting. That's brilliant. And then it's all it's all fine. 
know. I mean, I'm having to really relax because I'm thinking I'm going to get the order wrong, I'm sure. But it's okay because. Right, we'll do one more. And we're all breathing, we're all very happy, and this is great. Yeah, just, just busk it in a relaxed manner. I will be completely full. Have a shake out, that was lovely. Let's, um, let's go back to this one, and then, um, just for fun, let's do a few rounds of White Tape Offers Fruit demonstration just to kind of we've done it lots before it's on it's on the you know a lot of look at the YouTube videos if you if you don't know it now so I'll just show it to you as one two three four five six seven simple so there we are why tape offers fruit what could be simpler? Oh, marvellous. So I know at least two versions of this, so if I... There we are. Just join in. Join in when you want. Imagine you're in the display team. The Grey Herons display team. Right, now I've run out of space, so you just get your space nice and tall. So, I think in Strictly they have those funny grins on their face. In Tai Chi display, you have to look slightly wise and a little bit inscrutable if you, if you want to get the display team face correct. You know, just look a bit more, right, I want a bit more sage-like, more sagacity in your facial expressions, please, everybody. I'm getting paid for this. It's great, isn't it? Uh, I could have gone into cyber. Cyber, couldn't I? Uh, never mind. So just keep going. Oh, we'll do one more line and then we'd better stop because I've got a... It'll be tea time. It's tea time at 11. Rule five. Know when it's tea time. Very good. So, rule one, relax. Rule two, sink your hips. Rule three, breathe. Rule four, practice. Rule five, know when it is tea time. Great, which is uh, imminent. So uh, let's do this one. Stroke in the back, so you just breathe in. Beautiful, that was great everybody. You all look very good. Yeah, we just need to work a bit more on the inscrutable facial expressions. And we're, yeah. And we should all be feeling much more happy now. It's good. Or comfortable feeling miserable, one or the other, anything. <laughs> Go one more time, that's beautiful. Oh. Okay, embrace the tiger, return to the mountain three times. See if it works this morning. Rub the hands together and polish the face. A 
and then rub the hands together again and give the lower back a rub. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, marvellous. Okay, and then, right, two more embraced tigers and then we better stop. Yeah, sorry, I slightly overran, but. Yeah, it's because Tai Chi classes really should be about four hours long, but never mind. <laughs> Breathing. Right, own your space, everybody. Very good. Nice and tall. Just stand for a moment. And then make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top. Bring your feet together and bow. Well, that was really nice, everybody. Great stuff.